guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of 227, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> uh, Cody, you funny. Funny Cody. Oh. Both have to leave? Jeez. Why do I feel like something happened to Grandma? Because, here's the thing. Why would you show this at the beginning of this episode? This is now indicating that her grandma has passed away and her parents are still busy and she's still alone and that they don't really have time for her, even though now she's getting up into music and everything. I don't know. She just looks like somebody who has a really sad and tragic past story. I mean, honestly, they all do in their own ways, but I think the more we get into each and every of their personal episodes, that's when we'll be able to get to know more. Um, but as of right now, it's just, it's almost like a hit and miss. Like, besides Nicole and the other Sato, there's somebody else we technically already know kinda of a little on me, so hopefully we still get that conversation between her and her mom today. If it ain't today, let it be next week. Cause you just wanna be a fly on that wall so bad. And that's okay. We'll learn to be accepted of it. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I could just say that conversation was short-lived. I was literally thinking they were going to dead-ass sit down at the table and just talk it out. It's a good question. The wall. Maybe the wall has our addresses and stuff, but... I mean... Because here's the weird thing. Why just send a letter to Miu's mom? Why not everybody else? I get Sakura at her family because they're busy. <laughs> mm. 
personal wall has something to say. <laughs> I mean, this dumb cat. So that's what you see the photo shoot. Okay. I mean, Jesus, you got here quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Cody. Hey, good baby. right though. <laughs> Sakura? Your grandma? <laughs> Come here, Cody. Come here. <clears throat> Come here, Cody. Of course it is.
Please tell me y'all ain't walk the rest of the way. Oh my god. Y'all got some bad luck. Exactly. She's gonna get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's so adorable, oh my god. I it never happened, did it?
Um, Sorry. Even though it's raining. <laughs> oh. That's how she got it.
kind of frame that cover. That's what it was. She can't tell him. So then, hold up. You're telling me it's already been a year for her and she's got to come home. That See, that's the issue that she was talking about last week. That she could, well, a couple of days ago, but last week for you guys, that she wasn't able to talk to me about. You serious? Okay, I get the fact that her father wants her to come home and to be around, but then hold up. Y'all are busy. Her family is busy 24-7. They don't really have time for her, so I'm hoping that she can have a conversation with her parents and tell them about what she's doing in Japan and that if she could possibly extend her, you know, living there longer and if she has to and I believe she's going to tell me maybe she can just work with you and her parents I mean her mom and her sister I think that would be good for her but who knows I just want something else like positive to come out for Sakura because Sakura is just like an adorable little rare sometimes all of them are adorable in their own but like Sakura is just like oh my god I just never would have like thought that the backstory on that would be so I thought it was gonna have like a happy thing, but no. But it was sweet. Her grandmother was adorable. And I loved her. Like seriously, that was just so freaking cute. Like, oh my god. She reminded me of my own grandmother, even though she's not here anymore. But Jesus, the feelings, God. Oh. The regular phone call kind of? Okay. Good boy. Well, it seems Kano is the next person we're going to be focusing on next week. And either the boy in the picture has to be a family member like her brother or something, or her cousin, or it could be a guy that she likes. I'm not 100% sure. But whatever it is um, for the phone call, it has to be really important to her. I have no idea what the phone call is for because all we have a clue is the picture of a boy and we can't even see his face. But it seems like it has to be someone extremely important to her because if it wasn't, she wouldn't be talking about this. But Whatever it is, we'll find out next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 4 of 22.7. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 5. Bye, guys.